All right. At approximately 3.30 this afternoon, deputies were serving a high-risk narcotic search warrant in the 3100 block of Barron Avenue. Upon arrival on the scene, a man waiting in a vehicle sped toward a team of SWAT deputies. Deputies fired at the vehicle, fatally wounding the driver. None of the deputies were injured. Four people have been detained for questioning. Several people fled from the location and investigators are working to learn their identities. Several firearms with high capacity magazines have been found by investigators along with a handgun equipped with a Glock switch. Investigators have also located a significant amount of narcotics. The search of the premise is still ongoing. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation is currently investigating the shooting. Our thoughts and prayers are with all that were that are involved in this tragic incident. Uh, what is the age of the person that was shot? TBI will have to give you all of that information once they identify them. You have charges for the four you detained? There should be charges forthcoming, right? You mentioned a Glock switch. Yes, sir. Uh, with that on the suspect's gun. And this is the second shooting in the last few weeks involving law enforcement officers where there is a gun believed to have a Glock switch on it. Your thoughts on that type of mechanism being used uh, on guns? Well, obviously, it's, it's a very dangerous mechanism. Uh, it's able to, you know, fire so many different rounds in just a matter of seconds. Uh, this is what law enforcement officers are facing now. Uh, we found that weapon outside the building. Um, you know, we'll notify ATF, tobacco, alcohol, and firearms. Uh, they'll get involved with this case. So it's an ongoing investigation. This has been a really rough week for the community in Orange Mound. I mean, it doesn't seem like this has anything to do with the incident we saw the other day. But do you have any comments for the community who are constantly hit with violence? Well, as I said the other day, you know, I grew up in that park uh, over on Corns where, where all of the melee occurred and uh, grew up not very far from here. And it breaks my heart uh, to see when you go back to your old community and you see the kids playing and it reminds you of yourself when you were a kid and all the things that we did. Uh, I remember going to that park and seeing WDI baseball and uh, what a fun time I had as a kid. And that's what we want for our children now. We want them to live, not live in fear, not live in fear, to be able to go out and play like these kids are beside us here playing basketball and not fearing about gunshots ringing out. So this, that's what this is all about. Uh, the tweet that we sent out the other day, uh, asking parents to, uh, you know, know where your kids are. And so, you know, it's just an ongoing, position that we're going to take. I know you can't um, comment on the age of the suspects. Are you able to say whether or not they were a juvenile? No, I, not at this time. TBI will probably uh, release a statement here in the next couple of hours, maybe, and they will be able to, you know, I don't know how much they're going to say. Were any of the other suspects injured? I know there's one dead driver, but was there anybody injured? Not, not at this, no, no. Was anybody else in the car with him? No. Did anyone other than the deputies fire shots? He drove at them, did I catch that right? Yes, he drove at the deputy, a team of SWAT deputies, and they fired, the officers fired. Well, you know, you say that y'all are here serving a warrant. Is that typical for y'all to do that in the city? I thought, you know, Shelby County was Shelby County, you know? Memphis is Shelby County, so we go everywhere in Shelby County. Um, we saw that some two cars were getting towed. Which one was the one that the, the suspect was driving? Well, well, we'll let TBI talk about that. They're going to give you some more information a little bit later on. Any other questions? Are those deputies going to be put on leave while this is investigated? It is, they are on administrative leave right now. Typically, that's what we do. Um, and, um, you know, we'll have to wait till all the evidence is gathered, all of the information is gathered, and uh, they'll be off until then. How many? It's we're still trying well, to determine. Yeah, we're still trying to determine how many actually shot. Because CBI will actually uh, check everyone's weapon that was 
you know, on the scene. All right, thank you guys. We appreciate it. All right, Thanks, thank sir. you.